back to my channel. If you're new, hello. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. So guys, you wanted a tutorial. So I'm going to do this eye look, which I kind of call the curvy cat eye. If you were to plug in and Google cat eye, you would see so many different types of wings and all of that. But anyhow, I'm using the new Anastasia palette, Fall Romance, and this is the eye look I come up with. So let me take you through this quick tutorial. All right, so placement of the tape is super important. You want to start at the outer corner of the eye and kind of round it up while your eye is nice and relaxed. With an Urban Decay liner, I am just putting at my upper lash line a nice quick coat. Just go from the inner corner to the outer corner and then stop. With a Luxie blending brush, I'm going to dip into the dark shade Crimson. We're just going to go right into the dark and start applying that the outer corner and moving it inward. With here, you really don't have to pay too much attention to your blending. You just want to make sure that there's no separation in pigment because you have the tape out there. So that's going to make for a nice clean edge. Using a complex culture brush, it's a little bit bigger. I'm just going to go over and blend, blend, blend. With a more precise crease brush, I dipped it into the shade Midnight and I am just kind of working it in my crease along towards from the inner corner all the way to the outer with this really nice purpley shade. With a Morphe blending brush, I'm just going to go over that color I just laid down. There's no need to cut the crease and do added product. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip and carve out the area that I want, which is right in the crease, a little bit below the crease and on the lid. Now we're ready for our shimmer. With a Morphe short shader brush, or I like to call it packing brush, I'm going to go in first with Fireside and then Crown. Oh, and we're going to use some setting spray. Get a good amount of the product on the brush and begin to stamp it in and blend. I love this part. We want to make it nice and as shimmery as possible. Now for that second shade, Crown. It is so pretty. It's really gonna brighten up that entire lid and that crease. Super pretty color. I'm so glad I got this palette. Now I'm just using a blending brush, softening everything up. And then we're going to do some, some cleanup and some more liner. With a Q-tip, I'm just going to clean right in the areas where I don't want that shadow. So we're going to remove that nice and easily. Going in with the black liquid liner, this one is actually from Lorella Cosmetics. I'm just going to go in and make a small wing right at that upper lash line to that outer corner. And then I'm going to take that liner in to the inner corner. One of the best parts, we're going to remove the tape and then we're going to continue with the eyeshadow. And One of these babies has to work. We have a Real Techniques, a Morphe, and a Luxie. 
All right, so which one are we going to try? Should we go with the light? That might be too light. Hmm, let's try that one. All right. Woo! That's what the wand looks like. It was kind of like snug getting it out. All right, let's see. Okay. Put some here. We're going to put some here. Cover up my situation here. All right, let's try the smallest brush. Well, no, the medium one. Let's try that one first. Let's do some powder. Let's do a translucent powder so we can see exactly, you know, we're not lightening it anymore. We can get what actually the concealer is doing. We can see it. That's pretty nice. I put the Urban Decay Black Market Liner that I put on my upper lash line on my lower lash line and then I went in and I forgot to film it but I put midnight underneath it with that pencil brush right there actually that's what I'm doing now and I'm just blending those two together it's time for mascara and lashes so this here is the mascara that we just got in one of the subscription boxes, it's by MAC. I think it has those little fibers on it. I'm trying it for the second time. The first time I used it, I had like a reaction and I had to wipe it off. It's been a hot minute since I've done eyes like this. Tell me, what did you guys think? Do you have any questions for me? I know that like, since I'm using different products and new things, I don't do my makeup in the same way anymore. Like I've changed my routine a little bit and I wanted to try out the new concealer, which was House Labs. You're gonna wanna check out that video after this. Um, so I waited to do my under eye concealer. But anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I am looking forward to doing a look next time with the greens in this palette. Tell me, is that something you guys are up for? Let me know that down in the comments and I can't wait to talk to you guys there and I'll see you real soon in another video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.